Today we're going to learn how to make a quick sketch of the basic sine graph y equals sine 2x. So we have a template on our left, a grid space on our right, and a quick overview. Our three steps will find our essential information and get the grid set up. We'll plot our key points in the sine pattern and we'll sketch. You can see for reference we have the general form of a simple sine equation and that will help us define our essential information. So a here in front of sine is an understood one. A is one, that'll help us with some of our key points, our max and our min values. Moving on to B, that's in front of the X, that's two. And we use B to find our period, or the length of one horizontal cycle. So two pi over B, in this case two pi over two. Pi is the horizontal length of one cycle. And so when we set our scale, when we're labeling our tick marks here, so one, two, three, four, we're going to purposely take the period and divide by four and that way each of our key points lines up with a horizontal tick mark. So period divided by four is pi over four, and that's how we'll label our horizontal axis. So count one pi over four, two pi over four, reduces to pi over two, three pi over four, four pi over four, reduces to pi. We know we're on the right track because the period is pi, and this is our fourth tick mark. That'll be one complete cycle. For the vertical axis, you can just label by one. We're just gonna label one and negative one here, because we know A will be our Y coordinate for our max and our min. All right, so we've done all the essential analysis. We're ready for step two. Let's plot our key points and remind ourselves here that a sine graph, a parent sine graph looks like this. So it starts at the origin. So that's zero, one, max, zero, two, min, and then repeat. And so we're going to start here on our graph at the origin, that's zero, one. So remember, each key point lines up with each horizontal tick mark. So at pi over 4, we'll set our max, and that's where we're looking to A. Okay, that's our value for the Y coordinate, uh, also known as the amplitude. That's the distance from the midline to a max or min value. All right, so we have 0, 1 maximum, 0, 2 happens at pi over 2, and then the minimum will have a Y value that's just the opposite value of A, so negative 1. All right, and then you would repeat. So the final step is to just sketch this in. You have one cycle of y equals sine 2x, and if you need to, repeat. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more quick graphs and other helpful math tips.